dividing fractions and mixed numbers. Now, dividing fractions is very similar to multiplying fractions. The biggest thing that you need to do and always remember to do is you need to flip the second one and change it to the reciprocal. I'll show you what that means in a couple of examples here. Um, so you need to change the second fraction to its reciprocal and then just multiply it. That means you flip the numerator and the denominator. If you're dividing by a mixed number, which we'll get to in the second page of this, then you need to change it to an improper fraction before you flip them. And then you just multiply. So if you do this very methodically and check your answers, you'll always get them right. So make sure to check your answers by estimating. So here, you'll look here, 5 6 divided by 1 half. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to change this problem to a multiplication problem. And the way I do that is by flipping the second fraction. And if you remember what we've done before is we've said, well, there's a 2 on the top and a 6 on the bottom. I know 2 goes into 6, so that's now 3. This is not going to be 1. So I have 5 over 3, which is equal to 1. Uh, 1 and 2 thirds. So I look and I see if that makes sense. Does it make sense that this is about 2? Well, 1 divided by a half is going to be close to 2, so that makes perfect logical sense. So uh, over here, 15 divided by 5 eighths. Now remember, 15 is just 15 over 1. Don't be thrown by the fact that it's just a, a whole number. We can always write a whole number as it over 1. So now it's times 8 over 5 because we flipped the second one. And once again, you should get into the habit of this. Well, there's a 5 on the bottom and a 15 on the top. I know 5 goes into 15. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this to a 1 and change this into a 3. I'm left with my answer. This is just 3 times 8, which is 24. Now, 1 times 1, which is just 1, so it's a whole number. So, does it make sense that if I take 15 and I divide it by about a half, so that is, that I would end up, so I'm, I'm seeing how many halves fit into it. Would it make sense that that's about 24? Yeah. Um, it's well, 15 divided by half is 30, so that makes sense. It would be close to, close to that. So moving on quickly here, uh, dividing by mixed numbers. Now, in this case here, remember, you've got to change this one here and this one here to improper fractions first. So let's do that here. So 3, and you can just change all of them to improper fractions because we're going to multiply them out anyhow, so we might as well just get that out of the way. So this is going to be 7 over 2 divided by, this is going to be 13, remember 2 times 6 plus 1 is going to be 13 over 6. So now I flip the second one, I can do that now that I've got it in an improper fraction, 6 over 13. And lo and behold, I can do that again, where I can say, well, there's 2 on the bottom and a multiple of 2 on the top, so this is going to be 1. And this is going to be 3. So my answer is going to be 21, uh, 21 thirteenths, which is going to be 1 and 8 thirteenths. Okay, now this here, this is about one and a half. So it doesn't make sense that, well, three and a half divided by about two would be about one and a half. Yeah, it would make sense because we're dividing. The big thing to make sure to check is that, well, three divided by two is going to be about uh, one half, uh, one and a half, because uh, that's just three divided by two is three over two. Really make sure to check this just because in case you forget to flip it, this is an easy way of checking your answers. So one more time here, 1 and 3 quarters, let's change it to an improper fraction, 1 times 4 plus 3, that's 7 quarters, divided by, and again, 
use paper. 4 times 3, 12 plus 2, that's going to be 14. Over 3. So this is going to be 7 over 4 times 3 over 14. Well, now we've got to go ahead and do the same thing. Simplify it. Well, 7 on the top, 14 on the bottom. I know that 14 is a multiple of 7. So now I can just multiply it all out. 3 eighths. Does it make sense that 3 eighths would be the answer? Well, it's less than 1. So 4, when you divide 4 into, well, this is about 5. This is about 2. 2 divided by 5 is going to be less than 1. So that makes perfect logical sense.